All right, guys, so it has been a minute since I've put really an update or anything here on the YouTube channel. So um, I figured I'd let you guys know kind of what all's happened. Um, so I do not have e either Cavalier or Cobalt Beat anymore. That stuff's totally gone. Completely gone, like literally everything I had that had anything to do with them, that stuff's gone. So um, right behind me here, you can actually see we've got my friend's SOT4. That's the only really vehicle I've been working on. And even I had a couple engines, still have a couple engines sitting here. This one's from the Cavalier. It's like perfectly good. Um, the reason I got rid of that one actually, I blew the transmission and I ended up just saying, you know what, forget it. <clears throat> it's a cheap car. It, I mean, I could have just got a transmission. It would have been good, but decided to get rid of it. Got a 2.4 Ecotech back there. It's actually, actually completely gutted. It's kind of just sitting together right now. Um, the other SD4 engine over here for those originally from this car and there's oh i think i got rid of all my uh cobalt parts as well so it's like almost nothing around if anything the most parts i have are sd4 engine parts so yeah so pretty much just been working on this car and there's it's had all sorts of issues it's on my second or third turbo so when we first got this car back together um, well, we basically put an eBay turbo kit on it and it was a EMUSA turbo and that one blew up. It had tons of, uh, shaft play up and down, in and out and really bad. Got a set. He got, bought a second one cause it's my friend's car. It's not mine. So he got a second one. Um, it had the billet, uh, inducer intake wheel, whatever you want to call it there. And that one actually, we figured out just after that one started doing the exact same thing that we had basically restriction on the oil flow into the turbo and these cars already come with the turbo and they, it's kind of set up like that. So they don't need it unless they have something like the, uh, what balance shaft elite in the bottom end that can give more pressure oil pressure, pressure to the rest of the engine, something like that. Um, so Took that off and it was kind of fine, but now it's actually the turbo is bad. So that's our uh, second turbo that's completely gone now. So what we're actually is a little more of the rest of this video here. Just a couple little things. So that turbo is bad. Um, it worked really good, made lots of pow good power, but that one I think we're just gonna get another, or just another exact replacement one. We do since the beginning actually. We've had a Max Peating Rods turbo sitting here. It's a way better one. Real nice, honestly. Um, and I think it actually make a good bit more power, too. So, we want to uh, see if we can get that one on there. And I don't think we're going to do that quite yet, though, because he wants to just get another one of these. And EMESA also came with the turbo kit. Wastegate. That was honestly, honestly, pretty bad. I mean, just our experience, it was... Most of the time, it's been on the car the last, what, I think it's two months now. Since this car first pretty much ran, so it's been about a month and a half of it actually, like, driving. It's been, it's basically just stuck open pretty much the entire time. So, we finally, finally got a new Precision Turbo. I think it's, what, 39, what, PW39? Is that right there? 39 millimeter wastegate. Pretty stoked about that because it was just it you couldn't run it. So right now this one actually actually literally now that we've got a good wastegate, this one seems to seems to be working. But we're pulling a bunch of stuff apart. We get pull the intake back off, check the turbo. Like he already said, it's kind of messed up. And then <clears throat> we actually have a catch can here that came with the car. It wasn't on here. We just bolted it up um, and used the hose that comes from over here pcb valve that goes under the intake here and i actually had some stuff from the cobalt that fit it perfectly 3 8 line ran a line from there into there perfect bands ready on it and then also the ones from here this was actually a piece off the cobalt too it's basically a little coolant line overflow thing that runs across the top of the top of the engine on the cobalt so it fit perfectly it looks a little weird. I'll see if I can show you guys. It looks like there's like water or something in here. So I'm not really sure 
See how focus. It's not focusing. But anyways, there's it looks like there's like water or something in the oil. So yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. It literally just it looks like real nasty like chocolate milk. So that's an issue. So I need to check checked oil. It was burning oil, so check some stuff. I know we had lost like a couple of little bolts. You can kind of see like that bolt there on the turbo. That's like on the intake side. Kind of from the center section holding on the other piece over here. There's four of them and we'd lost one of the bolts. I think, I don't know if that one's gone. That one's still in. There's supposed to be four and I found one laying down there um, like a while back. So that might be why it's just burning oil now. So yeah, I'll see if I just get to it. See if I can replace a few things. I don't know what all I'm gonna film. So probably just show a couple things while I'm doing it. And yeah, that'll be update for you guys and a little bit of work on the car. So figured I'd post something for you guys. So yeah, I guess we'll just see where this goes. All right guys, so I took the intake off and check some stuff in there. It's got played back and forth, but no like up and down really, or like sideways, I guess it'd be. So, um, the, check that off, check some stuff there, and check the oil. Oil level's good, but there looks like there's a little bit of metal in the oil, which is a really bad thing. So, and also this, there it looks like it's almost like milky. I already sh showed that a little bit ago. This is a whole nother day. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to take this off, empty it out, or I can just thread this bottom part off right down here. Let's see if I can even do it right now. No, that's probably not gonna work. So I need to take that off and see what's in there. See if there's some nasty stuff in there. Or and so, yeah. So do that. I'm gonna have to give it a little change. I also got cheap oil for right now, just to kind of flush out the metal. Um, it's like literally two dollar filter, some oil from Walmart. And we're gonna put good stuff in. We're just putting this in for right now. So use that, flush it all out, and then I'm actually gonna take it for a drive. Well, I should check that out. Oil change. Do the wastegate actually quick replace that and then take it for a drive and then do another oil change and get get some good oil in there so yeah um not sure how much i'm gonna film but that's what we're doing next and uh i guess i'll let you guys know what happens all right guys so oh, let's see if i can kind of show you guys what i'm looking at here so I might be wrong, but I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Let's see if I can get in real close there. Yeah, it doesn't look. It doesn't really look right to me. There's a lot of metal in there, so I guess we'll drain it. And uh, I guess we'll see what happens. So, yeah. Man, that looks, that actually looks pretty cool. Really, really bad for your engine, but that looks pretty cool right there. Don't know if it picks it up real good on camera or not, but that looks really cool. It's all from, I believe, the turbo. Tons of sparkles. Yeah, that is not good. All right, so now I've got the catch can off. And yeah, that doesn't look right. That is straight up chocolate milk. That's actually lighter than, well, no, that, I mean, that's just disgusting. I'm not sure what's going on, but that is not right. It has been making a little more pressure than it should be. See if I can show you guys what it looks like in here. Seems like a lot of water in here as well. So I'm not really sure what's going on. But yeah, literally it just looks like chocolate milk in there. So that's an issue. All right guys, so here we have the old EMUSA, EMUSA. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Wastegate and this downpipe will actually bolt right onto the new uh, precision one. But we've got that. And then we've got 
this new whiskey, which it had one of these on when we got it. But I don't think it was this. I don't think it was this particular one. It looked different. I think this must be a newer one. It's 39 millimeter wastegate. Looks amazing, freaking amazing. And actually, we thought it didn't come with all the springs because the red and green are in here, but they're good. So comes with those, blue, yellow, and natural. I don't know if you can see that, natural color. Um, I think we're going straight for, actually we might leave, depends what the green and green and uh, red do together, because we might just do the blue. The blue one is 18 pound spring. We might just leave it together and just run it like this. But that comes with hardware, comes with the, I uh, forget what these are called, pretty much the stuff that goes up on top. Hook the lines too for the wastegate to adjust that. So yeah, I'm gonna get this thing beautiful wastegate. I'm going to get it on the car real quick and then I'll show you guys once it's on there. Alright guys, so I have the intake back on, intake filter back on, the, I don't know if you can really see it down there, but the catch can, emptied that out, kind of cleaned it out, just used some brake cleaner and uh, got that cleaned up, did the oil change and got the new precision Wastegate back there. I thought it wasn't gonna fit for a second, but it does. So yeah, and there's two ports on top here, and then there is uh, two, another one on the bottom here, and one right there, and that's closer to the hoses, so they come with two bolts pretty much to block them off, and two of the uh, banjo fittings. So put the two banjo fittings there, that should work. This is obviously for turning the boost up. That one there is obviously for keeping it from making boost, whatever you wanna do there. Um, basically keeps the wastegate open. So yeah, honestly, feels pretty good. The downpipe, it's a little loose. I don't know if you can see down there, but some of the bolts are, a couple of the bolts are loose. Actually, there's one snapped off in that turbo, and then there's another one down there that's loose. So yeah, I think that's gonna be all for this video, guys. Just a little bit of stuff. Hopefully the video didn't get too long. Um, and then yeah, I might actually show a little clip of it driving. And then yeah, that's gonna be all for tonight. So catch you guys on the next one.